Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So this video is just to quickly explain the differences between the two motors on the 22 kilowatt hour Renault Zoe. So here we have the motor made by Continental. This is called the Q motor, and it's standard in all cars up until the middle of 2015. It's made by Continental and it charges at 43 kilowatt hour AC. So that means when you use a public rapid charger, you're going to get to about 80% in roughly 20 minutes with this motor. The newer motor, as we can see in this Zoe, is called the R motor. This motor was made by Renault, they made it in-house, and it became available from the middle of 2015. The main difference with this motor is it only charges at 22 kilowatts. So when you're using that public rapid charger, it's going to possibly take you twice as long to charge with an R motor so maybe 40 minutes to get to 80%. Apart from that day-to-day -day driving and charging at home you're not going to notice any difference between an R or a Q. There are a couple of differences but in reality in the real world driving you just don't notice a difference. Range is roughly the same between them. Theoretically an R motor should do sort of 10 miles more in the range, but it's in real life, you're gonna hard push to get it and it's not really much difference. So the next question, if you're looking to buy a Zoe, is probably, so which motor do I need? Well, that comes down to how often you're going to be using the public rapid chargers, or more specifically, how often you're gonna be doing that long distance trip, which is beyond the range of the car. So if that's fairly frequently, then definitely you really want a Q motor because these take full use of the public rapid charger and will draw 43 kilowatts and, and will charge in roughly 20 minutes to 80%. Whereas an R motor can only draw 22 kilowatts, so this will take 40 minutes. But if you're only charging on a public rapid charger occasionally, it doesn't really matter if you're gonna sit there for another 10 more minutes with an R motor, if that's only gonna be once every few months. And when charging at home, there is absolutely no difference between an R motor or a Q motor. They both charge in the same amount of time. And with an R motor, you've got the potential, if you're just driving locally and potting around, possibly you might get a few more miles range from an R motor because they're slightly more efficient. And if you're looking for a used Zoe from say late 2015 onwards, there's certainly a lot more R motors available than there are Q motors because the Q motor was an extra when it was new and they sold less of these. So how do you tell what motor is in a Zoe that you're going to look at? Well, there are a few ways Firstly, you cannot tell from looking at the car from that externally or even inside or looking at the dash. There's no way of telling. The easiest way is to flick the bonnet. If it's got a metal top like that, it is the Continental motor called the Q motor. If it's got a plastic top like that and noticeably smaller, then it's the Renault R motor. The other way is if you've got the VIN number you look at the eighth digit and that will tell you if it's an A, it is a Q motor, the original. And then if it's a B, it is the R because that came second in late 2015. And the other way is the naming. So uh, particularly on the Dynamique models, they used to be called Dynamique Intense. So they are all Q motors. Later they dropped the word in tens and they just became Dynamic Nav. Generally the Nav model is the R motor. And if it has the word Rapid in the title, it's then a Q motor. But you can't rely on that because many motor traders make mistakes with the naming, even Renault dealers. So the only real way is to have the VIN number or to look under the bonnet. I hope you found that useful. If you are looking for a used Renault Zoe, then have a look at my website, gogreenautos.co.uk. I generally always have Renault Zoe's in stock, and where possible, I try to keep both the R and the Q motors in. And join my mailing list, let me know what you're looking for, 
and that way I can let you know if there's anything in the pipeline or indeed I let you know when new stock comes in and if you've got any questions I'm more than willing to answer you can reply to the comments below this video or give me a call or email.